my wonderful Virgos. How are you all doing? This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please do hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, this is a Virgo channel only. Hello to everyone in the chat. Um, so if you are a Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus, you definitely can... Uh, you might find messages here that will resonate with you. Personal reading links are below. Everything you need to know is in the description box below this video. Just go check that out. Okay, so Virgo, we're going to do um, a general reading and then I'm going to switch over to love towards the end here. So I just want to give you some general messages going on with your life. We'll, we'll look into see what's coming up for you in the month of May. Okay, um, I feel like Oh yeah, oh, as usual, it's a general reading, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just keep that in mind. Did I already say that? Or maybe I did, I don't know. Um, but let's take a look and see what the energies are. What is this card now here? Pleasure Seekers, wow. Okay, so something's going on here, some fun fun. This looks like the Three of Cups in a way. Um, so there's something here you could be right now going through a time period in May where you're just like, you know what? I'm out seeking pleasure. I'm out seeking fun. I just want to have fun. I just want to enjoy my life. I feel like there's going to be some social events coming up for you in May. If you aren't already invited, I feel like you're going to get invited to some social events. There may be um, some parties. You may get some invitations to go out with friends um, or family. So I'm seeing like um, a lot of fun, mostly with friends though. I'm seeing like a lot of a lot of fun with friends. You know, some intimate gatherings, maybe going to some concerts, um, visiting, doing some travel. That kind of energy is coming up here in May, making plans for traveling. Um, visiting historical sites. Somebody might be visiting some historical sites. Um, it, or even for some of you, it could be a vacation. You might be taking a vacation or you've got that coming up for you in May. Let me see here. Also, I'm picking up Virgo, some fun dating opportunities or options coming up for you, not just with one person, but you know, having some options open. Some people out there just looking to have fun and go do things with and maybe have a travel companion or just go out and enjoy some energy with some some fun dating prospects. Definitely an opening up of this energy. Now, I think we're going into Mercury retrograde. Did it already start? Um, so this would be a good time to really try to get out there and um, get busy, okay? Let me see here. Some of you, there's a Mercury retrograde where you're not gonna be in communication with someone. And so I feel like some of you are going to then decide to get yourself out there and date more, okay? Or meet more people. Okay, what do you have here? Okay, you've got old woman. All right, so I feel like this could be a mother or a grandmother that you may be having a, um, lunch or dinner with or it's just an older woman connecting with an older woman well it's an old woman okay so she's got gray or white hair spending some time with an old woman <laughs> um some of you could be like i said you could be spending time with a family member like a mother or a grandmother or an uh, a sister who's much older than you. This is a woman who I feel like is in her 70s, 80s and up, 70s and up, okay? Um, so she could be somebody that you work with. She could be somebody who is in a, is in a family, you're gonna be seeing her. I feel like she's very significant in the month of May. Um, I'm also seeing for some of you, that's a weird message. Um, okay, so they're saying she wants to see the grandkids or she wants to see the kids or visit her. They're saying go visit her. If this is like a mother or a grandmother, go visit her with your, your kids. Or there's, yeah, there's something here. She wants, I'm just, this is a weird message. I'm just picking up. She wants to see the kids. <laughs> it's 
something like that, okay? Um, hmm. She needs help, I'm also hearing. Um, she needs help around the house with something, maybe some lands landscaping or some uh, carpentry work or handyman work or something like that around the house or wherever she is. Okay, it's a very strange message, all right. These are more predictive for the month of May, so that might be coming up. There's something coming up with her. She's not able to do something, so she's going to be reaching out to you um, for you to gather like a posse together and, and go over and help her with something. Okay, let's see. So you got melancholy. So you might be feeling a little down in the dumps, right? Um, or have periods or moments where you're, you might be feeling kind of like sad about something. I'm feeling like sad. It could just be a cycle that you're going through. It could be, you know, for the, for the, the, the females, it could be like a, um, a menstrual cycle that's got you kind of, you know, down in the dumps. Um, this though feels like it might be pretty heavy duty. So prepare for that. I'm hearing, um, but there's also just this negative thinking as well, which this all might coincide. There might be something here where you need to visit an old woman where she up gives you like uplift of your spirits. And also with the um, pleasure seeker, um, you need to get yourself out there. If you, why is this so blurry? You need to get yourself out there. If you experience some type of melancholic moments, okay um are you experience some down time or you just have like negative thinking or you're because your thoughts come before your actions so it, it feels like be very mindful virgo of what your what your input is what you're thinking about the things you're looking at um on the television the things you're looking at on social media be be extremely mindful of what you're feeding into your psych, okay? Because I feel like that's gonna play a role, seriously. So this is more so about um, keeping your spirits up, staying uplifted. So choosing, um, choosing certain um, positive songs, I feel like, positive um, affirmations, making a habit of doing that every day, even if it's not a cycle thing that's coming in, whatever it is, if you find yourself getting too heavy, I'm just feeling like a heaviness, be careful of heavy energy, um, be light on your feet, you've got, you've got love, look at that, or don't look at it, <laughs> you've got love here, this is um, Cupid, so there's love coming in. There's you're going to be feeling some love from some from not just from one particular person, but I feel like all over, all around you. Um, hmm, that's really going to help lift you up. And I also feel like um, focus on the things that stir your heart. Okay, stir your heart. Um, there could be something to do with a baby. There's a baby that might bring you a sense of love or innocence. Some of you might be a little melancholy about love. I'm going to give a straight message here with all four of these cards in context. Some of you might be feeling a little down in the dumps about love in May. Okay, some of you may feel like you're getting older. Um, or that you're not able, like you're, you know, age might be playing a role. There might be like um, your biological clock is ticking and you're feeling kind of like, oh, you know. Um, some of you, I feel, it could be reminiscing about when you were younger and how much easier it was for you to go out and have fun um, where you didn't feel like you had the weight of the world on you. Okay. Um, so I just feel like that might be a passing thing, you know, and that's why I was saying that Spirit's message here to you is to try to fill your head with positive positivity, positive thoughts, positive things, uplifting things, you know, whatever it might be. Okay, but there's definitely an energy of like Cuba's arrow is going to be 
um, striking you in the month of May. Okay, and I think we've been talking about that. So let's see what else is going on here for you. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I just said a baby. Look at that child. Okay, somebody's expecting a child. Somebody may want to have a child and may feel like they're getting up there in age or, um, or they can't have any more children and dealing with that. Um, or just feeling like they're too old, maybe to have another child. I do feel like, um, oh, there's a bundle of joy. Somebody's giving birth in the month of May, definitely. This really though, it really does feel like somebody's listening here and they've got kids and they're grown and maybe somebody doesn't want to have more children but they're getting to that point in their life where it's like done coming to terms with that like okay this part of my life is over I'm not going to be having children anymore and I'm coming to this change this transition in my life and not feeling uh, like I have as much pep in my step as well and where is love if, if there's nobody in your, you know, somebody's life right now, like where is love? Some of you might be longing to have a child and feeling kind of down about that. Okay, you've got sweetheart. Hmm. Somebody's having, somebody's daughter is having a baby as well. There's a baby being born. Um. I also feel like some of you are going to meet someone that has a baby or has a child. Or they, there might be someone you meet that would like to have a child with you or someone that you're currently invested or talking to. Maybe thinking they want to have a child because you are like a sweetheart. This, somebody here views you as being very young and youthful and like not they don't see you as being an old like an old person you know what I mean I feel like you're feeling that way about yourself you might be feeling that way um but rest assured I feel like this is a temporary state or a temporary thing you're going to be feeling it's just like a passing phase and I wouldn't you know worry too much about it here I wouldn't worry too much about it some of you might be thinking back to times when you're, if you have children when they were little or when they were young and then missing those days when they were babies. Okay, so also with sweetheart, um, you could meet someone, like I said, who either comes with child or would like to have a child with you as well. So that option showing up here on the table. And I'm also picking up um, somebody somebody who calls you sweetheart or somebody's going to call you sweetheart. Um, this person's really like in love with you. I'm, I'm picking up somebody who's like really loves you. If there was anyone that you're talking to right now or um, that you talked to before or or you could be meeting somebody, you'll know them by the term they, they call you sweetheart. That's how you'll know that this is, this is the person for you, is what I'm hearing. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, you've got servants. All right, some of you work in, some of you are waiters or waitresses, or you work in the, um, you work in like restaurants. And I feel like some of you are hoping that you're going to be able to like get out of that. Some of you are going to meet somebody in a restaurant where there's waitresses or waiters. I'm just hearing that. There's a female here. Her name is Hope. You might meet a waitress or a server. I shouldn't say waitress or waiters, just server. You might meet a server whose name is Hope. <laughs> she may have a child or she's naming her baby hope this is what i'm picking up these are such weird messages that come out let me see 
I feel like though also with the hope card you're you're going to be getting your hope back again like I said this energy right some of you may just need to spend some time with this old woman because I feel like she's going to give you a sense I don't know she's old so you're not as old as she is that might bring back a youthfulness about you in some way you'll kind of get a reminder you know you may not be 15 you may not be 20 but um you're still youthful i feel like this is the message somebody's struggling with an age thing struggling with age somebody's seeing wrinkles somebody's looking at the you know maybe they got some bat wings you know um somebody's got a pouch pooch belly you know and looking back at how they used to look when they were younger and looking back at these old pictures or um remembering well, pictures or, or the way somebody used to look and then kind of getting down about you know because not not feeling as good as they used to but I feel like that's you comparing yourself to the old you I feel like everyone who's around you or is external to you does not see that about you I feel like that's a struggle you might be going through at this time and also struggling like am I ever gonna meet anyone hope is becoming more lost as well okay um let me see here there's something i'm gonna pull some clarifying cards what is this all right let's look at this love thing what is this love thing oh gosh death what the <laughs> oh boy yeah virgo and you have faithfulness okay so virgo you're really going through it in may you you just some of you not all of you but there's this piece of you is like losing you somewhat with this melancholy state losing a little bit of hope in some ways like is anybody ever faithful i feel like that's running through your head like is 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 love over is it done is it not going to come back my way is this is this finished Am I never going to have love again? You know, you got a faithful friend here. You've got family around you or people, a uh, soul tribe in some sort. You know what? We're going to, I'm going to do you a favor. See that melancholy card going? We're getting out of there. Tell that to go away. Okay. Tell that to go away. Okay. Some of you have a pet. Your pet really loves you. <laughs> and if you're feeling down, there is something to be said about the love of an animal that really, I mean, don't let it stop you from getting back out there, you know, doing this pleasure seeking thing. Don't let that stop you from getting out there and enjoying your life where you just have a relationship with your cat or your dog and that's it. Nobody else comes into your life, but understand like your dog or your cat or your, your whatever kind of animal you have, um, there's some love there for you. I know this might sound really trite and kind of silly, but I feel like it's really important um you know they have don't they have like um animals that they bring to um senior living places and these animals they're like wellness animals some of you might actually be doing that going to um visit like an old woman or an old person with um they're not like service dogs but they're they could be but they're more like um animals that come and and help i don't know it, it i'm hearing the word revitalization revitalization something to do with a pet or an animal and revitalizing and bringing hope back you know um i i don't know if that's something that you currently are doing or this is just something that you um maybe should think about it's it's kind of service it's helping someone i'm hearing like helping someone bringing your bringing hope back for you and another person. Do you know what I mean? It, it's an interesting message here. What is a servant? Okay. Oh, lover. See, it's interesting because I said, we're going to do a general and then we're going to get into your love reading, but you've got someone here. Well, like I said, you might meet a servant and that servant's going to become your lover. <laughs> okay. It doesn't have to be in a restaurant. It could be like, I don't know, the plumber comes. <laughs> the plumber comes to, you know, 
fix your drain and then a spark gets made or it's someone who's in the service industry okay so what is the service industry um someone who might work in a social service type of situation why does my thing keep going sorry if it keeps getting dark so uh, this person's going to make you feel youthful definitely you also have someone here if you're already involved with someone even, or even if this isn't someone who works in the service type industry this person it's like they want to they want to serve you they sit in to serve how can i say this it's like they want to make you happy someone coming in in may who wants to serve you love on a platter <laughs> it's so strange um you know play a little music while you're up on the balcony they want to serenade you bring you love love be it like come in as a lover there's a lover coming in maybe somebody plays an instrument um you go to some kind of show i did say earlier like a concert or something I feel like you're going to get your, I feel like your hope's going to get back. So don't be too discouraged with, you know, this melancholic, melancholy thing. Some of you might just have periods where you go into like a dark area sometimes. And that's the time where you need to absolutely utilize all uplifting tools to, you know, keep you in good spirits. Okay. Um, let me see here. Now I'm also hearing, I'm going to get one more. And then I'm going to try to pull more messages. Isn't that something? It's funny how spirit talks to me. First, they're giving you a dog. Maybe you have a dog that looks just like that. And second, they're giving you a kitty cat. Okay. But this kitty cat says falseness. Okay. Well, isn't that cats for you? Cats are generally sweet, but they also can be, um, I guess the word is um, self-centered. <laughs> um, so I know some of you are like, I can only cuddle with my cat for like five minutes and then they're out of here. Okay, that's fine. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. So I'm just getting a message here. If you have a cat and there's some kind of like um, something going on with the cat where the cat needs to go to the vet or there's, you know, the cat's sick or something, um, it's a false alarm, they're saying. Like, if, you, if you're concerned or you're worried about your cat, your cat is just probably a, a furball or something. It's, it's nothing serious. So I'm just hearing that message, like, you don't have to worry about that, okay? Um, it's, so they're saying it's gonna be okay. That's what I'm hearing, it's, it's gonna be okay. Um, okay, wait, let me see if I can, See if I can get some messages here. Um, so Virgo. This is really strange. Hold on a second here. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing two people sitting at um, a restaurant table. I'm seeing two people sitting in a restaurant table and somebody asks you um, if you will be their, their, their person, their love, their lover. Like somebody goes exclusive is what I mean. But it, it's not like, um, it's not formal. It's more like along the lines of, you know, I want to be your lover. Isn't that a Prince song? I want to be your lover. Yeah, that's what I feel like is going on here. They, they, they express that to you. I'm just seeing two people sitting in a restaurant and there's, um, there's a picture on the wall and there's, uh, it's fruit. There's like fruit, vegetables, or a vine, or tomatoes. Maybe it's an Italian restaurant. It's some, it's some kind of restaurant. And there, there's pictures on the wall of like food or something along those lines. I see two people sitting there and having drinks and having um, a good meal. And But there's candlelight. And I, I'm, I'm picturing somebody like seeing to you, um, can we be lovers? I want to serve 
you for the rest of my life. So it could possibly be a proposal. Um, but like I said, it's informal. So it's kind of the way they say it and the way they do it. It's, it's not traditional. It's very informal. Okay. I'm also seeing some of you are going to get um, like a piece of mail or um, yeah, like a card. You're receiving a card in the mail or a letter and it could be in the mail or it could be on your phone um, that you're, you're, you're getting a text where someone says, hey, sweetheart, or they call you sweetheart, or there's some kind of, it feels mostly, I mean, it could be, for some, it could be a piece of mail where there's like a, a letter of someone explaining that they're telling you that they're sweet on you, or they send you a sweet card for something, um, like a celebratory card in some way. And for others, it, it feels like, um, a text message coming where they're like, Hey, sweetheart. Um, they send sweet messages to you in the month of May. Okay. Um, and it's coming from someone that I feel like you don't expect to either hear from, um, like it's a surprise in some ways, but for some it's either you don't expect, you didn't expect, or you won't expect to hear this from, or it's, yeah, that's it. You won't expect to hear this from this person. It could be like the words that they use or the fact that they're reaching out. That's, it's kind of like, whoa, I'm, I'm just picking up, like you looking at it like, whoa. At first you read it nonchalantly because I think it shocks you and you don't have a reaction. And then after it sets in, then you're like, whoa, wait a minute. Let me see, what is this? Let me let me get more clarity on the sweetheart thing. Okay, journey. Oh, it's an, an invitation. It's an invitation for traveling or uh, someone's coming to see you. Okay, traveling or someone's coming to see you in May. Yeah, definitely. Someone's visiting. It's, it's either invites you to go travel somewhere with them, but this is a lover. This is like a, a love thing, a lover, a love thing going on here. All right. Show me the child. Okay. Oh boy. Wedding. That's what I said. There could be an invitation to be a plus one at somebody's wedding. Okay. Or someone's coming to you. Remember I was saying like some kind of proposal, but an informal type of a proposal. This is like and also um, there's a wedding and possibly like a baby shower as well. Um, but there's love here. There's there's like I don't know if some of you are going to be at a wedding or go as a plus one that inspires someone or two people to want to be together for life. And that comes out at this wedding or um, at a restaurant. And that could be like if it's if there's some it could be a reception of some sort that you go to. Show me. Let's put the, up the corner card and see what the messages are here. OK, so you've got enemy. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. So there's definitely going to be somebody in your periphery in May that you need to watch out for. Um, this is a rival. Okay. Do I feel like it's a lover? No, it could be, um, um, Hmm. It could be, it's among your friends. There's uh, so I, I don't want to go like harsh to say enemy, but this is someone who's very jealous and very envious of you. And in the month of May, this person, um, they're kind of lurking. There's someone who's lurking, who's not wishing the best for you. And that's kind of a bummer. Okay. They're envious of something to do with a child. There's envy and something to do with a child. Envious that somebody had a child or two people are getting married and having a, maybe having a child together. That's definitely playing out here. Um, I feel like you've got somebody here, either they come in with a child or they want to have one with you. Um, 
there's like, um, I don't know if it's an ex or someone else. This person might be a pleasure seeker. So kind of up in their ego a little bit is always out partying, very irresponsible, that kind of thing. It's an interesting message. Yeah, this is this person is an ex sweetheart of whoever is showing up here. Um, if two people, if you and another person get a, go official in some way or something like that comes up, um, there's there's somebody lurking. Somebody's gonna find out, and then a little bit of trouble, a little bit of a little bit of trouble, jealousy or um, start some drama. So just be aware of that in the month of May. Also, despair is over here. So listen. I, I was talking about the melancholy. I mean, this card is kind of morbid, so we're not even going to look at that. But um, there's something really important here. Um, and I, I feel like I don't... That, that melancholy has something to do with despair. Um, really strong message. Just do something with your pets or somehow be around animals to bring your lift your spirits up, okay? Because animals can be, you know, carefree and um, joyful and playful and frolicky. And I'm talking about furry creatures. I'm not really talking about like your pet snake <laughs> or your goldfish. <laughs> We're talking about furry creatures that are warm, that you can hold, you know, warm blooded, that kind of thing. If you don't have any of them, I don't know, go to like a... Um, Go somewhere where you can play with the puppies or play with the animals just to lift your spirits, okay? Because you're definitely, <coughs> I feel like this is just kind of a mood thing that is coming up for you. It's just a bit of a mood thing. I don't feel like you're going to do yourself in or anything like that. If you're feeling that way, seek some help. Seek a trusted friend. If you're going through something very difficult in your life, like have you have a little bit of hope. Rem remember that because you've got some beautiful energy coming in here, okay, um, with love. You definitely have a good, a, a beautiful love situation coming into your life in May. Um, and if you're feeling down right now and you're listening to this and, and that's really all you need to hear, maybe that will help you lift your spirits and help keep you positive. All right, what else do you have? Okay, you've got the room. You have cheerfulness, beautiful, and you have a messenger. Okay. Hmm. Remember AOL messenger? Um, so interesting. This room. Okay. Something going on with a red lamp. Um, Um, something to do with a red lamp somewhere in this old woman's house. All right. Um, and I'm also picking up. Um, uh, okay. So rent, renting a room. I'm hearing somebody's getting a room. Maybe you're going, some of you might be renting a room out in your house. Um, Okay, there's also a party uh, in a special room. Uh, some Somebody has like a room that's designated only for special events. And I feel like you're going to be in that room. Um, so as I was saying, like if there's a wedding or some kind of reception or something, I'm seeing like a lot of cheer, a lot of celebratory energy. Um, and I'm also picking up, remember I was saying that you're going to get like a piece of mail or a letter of some sort. You're, you're getting some good news. You're getting some good news coming to you through the mail for sure. I mean, you're also going to get like a love text of some sort or a sweet message from someone, but you're also going to get um, a piece of mail. Check your mailbox in the month of May. It's going to bring you um, joy and happiness. So it's like a it's like a, a delivery coming to you, a delivery or a message. 
where you're going to be able to um, celebrate this energy. You're going to be able to celebrate something here. Um, I do feel like you and a lover, <laughs> you might be getting, I don't know, maybe going on vacation and, and there's a hotel room you're going to be spending um, time in a hotel room with somebody going somewhere or just going on like a, a road trip or a day trip or going away for the weekend, something along those lines. But I'm seeing like reception, party, wedding, um, some type of um, event coming up in May where there's going to be servants and, you know, your hope's going to come back again, like whatever kind of despair you might be feeling at this time. And you're also going to get some good news. But I just want to get another card to see if I can try to understand what this good news is. A little more clarifying, clarification of, of this good news. Um, somebody, it's so, for some of you, it's from someone who lives, I'm hearing, in Europe. Someone who lives in Europe. Okay, that, um, oh, you've got thought, huh. Somebody's getting accepted into a, a, a school for some type of psychology. And there's also a message coming from a soldier. Um, something about thinking of you and I'm okay. I'm hearing that. Thinking of you and I'm okay. Soldier, military, it could be somebody who's far away, um, who's away. Also, some of you getting accepted into a civil service or um, military kind of thing. Also, I'm hearing somebody's been, but mostly it feels like somebody's been thinking about you who, all right, there's consolation. Okay, some of you are going to receive a consolation um, surprise, consolation prize. But I'm also hearing like this message coming in from someone in military and i was feeling that initially but this is like a letter that's being written from someone who is maybe deployed or is far away and this message is it's consolation it's it, it's like to let you know everything's okay and um or that they are going into the military or something along those lines it's very interesting messages you know, I'm not seeing a new car. I'm not seeing a new home or anything like that. I mean, I did feel like there's going, there's, there might be an opportunity to have someone stay in a room or someone who's in your home, who has a room in your home is going to be leaving. I'm hearing that as well. Like the room will be empty soon, possibly in May. Okay. All right, let's get into your full love reading. Uh, let me know how you like that. It's a bit of the Lenormand cards, but I'm going to try to do this a little more because I want to practice a bit more with my intuition with these cards. Um, but it's just general, you know, just to see what plays out. Um, different energies that could be playing out. All right. All right, you guys, so... Let's get started. Let's see what your love messages are here. Okay, what's the love messages? Love messages for Virgo. Virgo sun, moon rising, or Venus. Love messages. Okay, you've got paradise. Wow. Well, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Beautiful energy. I'll show you these cards in just a moment. You've got abundance, keeping a positive mindset. That's what I said, Virgo. Remember, you have to keep a positive mindset at this time. Manifest exactly what you want. Not who you want, exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. You're going to be feeling really good. Just remember, our thoughts create our actions. Our thoughts, um, what we think is what we become. What we think is what we manifest. So what are you thinking about? Okay. Um, you need to be thinking about paradise happiness you know sometimes the best thing to do i think um well not the best but one thing you can do is when you're feeling down in the dumps watch a comedy show or a comedian 
to, to make you laugh. Laughter, laughter. Even if you manage to get out a little giggle, <laughs> that's a start, okay? So yeah, you've got heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So some of you are, that's what's going on with you. You've got some kind of, like you're feeling heartbroken about something, okay? You are. And that, that might be leaving you sad or feeling a bit melancholy about something, okay? So this is all about your mindset. You know, you're going through something, breakups are not easy, and um, I feel like whatever this energy is at this time, if you're in separation from, from someone, try to distract yourself with positive energy or positive things to keep yourself in a, in a much better energy. I just said get another card. Okay, the Grim Reaper. Yeah, hooray. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life, okay? So at this time, there's something that's over. But remember, we saw a lover coming in, okay? Is that your past lover? I don't know. Is it a new lover? It could be. But um, for right now, if you can just tell yourself instead of sitting in longing, or um, desire, if you're able to just say to yourself, if something ended, just say, okay, the relationship is over. I'm gonna accept this right now. And then I'm gonna start, you know, because what can you do? Like acceptance is like the last stage of the grief process. If you're able to just get yourself to accept it in some way, it doesn't mean it's forever, but at this time, there's something that's ended here and it might feel kind of harsh for you, but I do feel like there is a lover who is going to be showing up for you in May. So it's like, you know, as soon as you can accept this situation and get past it and let it go, that's when new love comes in for you. Okay. If you're having a hard time with that. Sorry for the blur. Um, I'll get that straightened out in a second. Let me see. What other messages? What other messages here for Virgo? Okay, you've got the world, so this is all about acceptance and moving forward, writing the new chapter of your life, starting over, beginning all over again. Okay, and you've got the Three of Cups, which we kind of saw in the other deck. So again, this is an energy of like support, your circle of support, finding your friends, connecting with people who um, maybe even getting yourself like right back on that horse, get right back on that horse and you know get get out of your own way the biggest obstacle always virgo is yourself right so get out of your own way and make your moves okay um you could again there's travel here as well coming forward you might be able to go traveling or go visit some sisters or brothers or some family or friends i just heard the name tina okay i just heard the name tina let me see somebody likes uh, the guy who played Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars movies or looks like Anakin Skywalker or looked like An it's just blonde hair and blue eyes kind of I don't know that that's weird <laughs> all right what else all right there's the six of cups okay there's definitely a reconciliation. It could just be reconciliation with friends and getting back out there and seeing your friends again or your your soul tribe. If you've been in a heartbreaking situation, you've been isolating a little bit, this is just an energy of getting yourself back up there. This is also um, childhood connecting with friends from your way, your past way a long time ago. Um, people who support you and they're there. They're waiting for you. Okay, take that trip. If you get invited, remember, if you, you get invited to, you know, there's definitely a journey. There's somebody, uh, a message and some love messages coming in from somebody in May. Um, if, since we're talking about love here, there's definitely an energy of, um, you know, um, somebody coming in um, that wants to sweep you off your feet so you got to get out there Virgo I mean unless the plumber just shows up and that's the one there you go <laughs> all right accept offers that come in even if you don't want to go even if you're just in that melancholy state and you're just not in the mood and you want to isolate and you want to just be in your sweatpants and go to the gym and not talk to anybody just at least try to get out 
once this month if you're going through something difficult. Okay, we've got the emperor here. So, hmm, take charge of your life at this time. For some of you, there's an Aries who's coming back, who's going to be circling back your way. I don't know if that's the person I was talking about in the other, the first half of the reading, um, or if this is somebody new. There's, this is a father figure as well, okay? Um, that there's two children. This might have been somebody you had children with a long time ago or a child with, and now the children are grown or the child is grown, and this person's, you know, showing up here in the month of May. It's interesting. Okay. All right. Two of Wands. Okay. Somebody's been... Hmm. All right. So... Well, this is somebody here who also, if it's not a father figure or someone that you had kids with, this is someone that has kids that you could meet or has a child. Um, I feel like you knew this person before. Maybe you weren't with them before. Maybe you were. I don't, I'm not really sure. But I feel like you knew this person before, and I feel like this person's at a distance and is traveling in... Um, this person has kind of like fantasy or thoughts about you. Um, now, here's the thing, though. With the Seven of Cups, this person is showing up non-committal. But as an emperor, that's not generally the way the emperor is. Okay. So I feel like someone here is making... Oh, there you go. They're making plans here with the lovers. I feel like someone's ready to be in a sacred long-term union with you. Okay? Commit. Have love. Have a sweet relationship. Sweet romance. Um, a deep partnership. Definitely. This is a decision. They've made a decision. Okay? Because the Seven of Cups is usually a card of not making a decision. Can't commit. Well, guess what? That's changed. The decision's being made now. Okay. I don't know who this person is. Like I said, it could be an Aries. Um, but it also could be somebody that you knew before who has who is now coming through in the emperor energy where they're, they've leveled up or they're more mature. They know what they want now. That kind of thing. Um, and making travel plans. This person, I feel like... These are two decision cards, the Lovers and the Two of Wands. We also have the King of Cups under here, so it could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, could be Scorpio because Aries and Scorpio are both Mars ruled, so definitely could be that. Um, but this is someone who has very deep, deep feelings. Doesn't express them, though, very rarely. Doesn't really have a need to express them, but needs it, that in return really really yearns for love and expression of love in return so there's definite okay so for some of you there you go queen of wands here so for some of you this could be also a fire sign and i said aries it could be leo or sagittarius oh some of you okay now they're just telling me you've got two <laughs> you've got two You've got two options coming in here. And for some, maybe even three. Okay? You've got, but I'm, you have Aries, but I'm also seeing fire and water. Okay? So you've got a fire sign here who's like, maybe was unsure, but is now becoming sure they're watching you right now. They're spying on you. They're seeking. They're very curious about you. And then you've got somebody else here who's at a distance who's making plans to come in so you might <laughs> and you you're not even expecting this Virgo because I feel like you've got such a broken heart and you're just done with some relationship and now you're just trying to get out here and enjoy your life love is going to come uh, it's going to surprise you it's it's going to come out of nowhere I mean I guess it's not a surprise now that I'm telling you but Love is coming in when you least expect it. That's what I was hearing. Hold on. 
love is coming in when you least expect us and whether that's from the person that you were with before or somebody new it's both for some of you and i feel like you're just going to be like oh my gosh i don't even know what to do here okay yep look can't pick my cards up so you have conflict yep definitely you've got some conflict here of five ones you're going to be conflicted you're going to have two choices <laughs> Don't you love it when it plays out like that? Why is... Show me this King of Cups um, Emperor energy. What is going on here? King of Cups Emperor energy. <gasps> now you've got... Yep, you have two choices. Hold on, my music ended. Why does my music end so quickly? And I have no idea. Okay, so, yep. You've got a water sign. Let me move this so you can see it. You have a water sign and you have um, a fire sign. Point blank period. <laughs> you're going to you're going to be like one is. OK, so what I want to tell you is this. The water sign has very, is very emotional, very deep feelings, like deep feelings for you or will have those like they get it. They get um all up in their feels the water sign it's you know that soft water but very powerful emotions okay and this king of wands is very physically active courageous bold charming alpha type of a person very out let me see if i can yeah i'm gonna have to get more light in here but the ki the king of wands is very alpha energy you know, um, very um, physically, uh, not so much of a lover, but someone who's more physically active, sexually active, um, flirty, feisty, um, very confident, self-assured, powerful leader type of energy. Um, moves more by like force and might and strength, male or female, doesn't matter. Whereas the King of Cups moves more by emotion. You know how water could be soft or it could crash. That's a Bruce Lee quote. Um, water could be very powerful. Um, you know, when it's like a gushing tsunami, but it also could be very gentle, you know, um, but it's those emotions, very powerful emotions. So Virgo, overall, I feel like you're going to have two options here two decisions to make and I think you're you might try to discover to see um, who's the better suitor for you but it's all coming as soon as you are over some kind of a heartbreak as soon as you make up your mind to accept that a relationship is done and that you're focused you redirecting your energy back to yourself and you're focusing on yourself and you're doing what's best for you and you're becoming you know you're doing what people do who aren't in relationships they you know they don't have another person to be concerned about anymore and now it's just them and their cat or their dog and they are you know <laughs> focusing more on luck focusing more on their goals and achievements but now you've got the maiden and the maiden is the virgo card Vir virgo the virgin is the maiden and you've got, I can't believe this is not showing up here. I'm so upset about that. So anyway, a new relationship blossoms. That's what I'm saying here. But I feel like, you know, obviously, I mean, some of you might have a relationship with both people at the same time. Maybe you'll be dating both um, until you know or see, you know, who's better for you. But this is your energy here. And as I feel like that's the Virgo card and there's definitely something new happening here in your love life. And, you know, so you're, you're, you're like, I feel Virgo, like you've hit the, you've hit like rock bottom, like in May, you get to this point where you're like, Oh, that's it. Exhausted. I just need to reach out to my friends. I need to reach out to family. I need comfort from my animals. I need to connect with people who love me and I need to, you know, distract my mind and go do things and enjoy my life and do other things. And then boom, here comes love. And here come here it comes. Like when it rains, it pours, man. And that's what I feel like is coming through here in May. <laughs> oh my goodness, this craziness. 
Okay, so the Chimera is here. Imagination clouds your judgment. So I feel like you got to be really careful. Um, because you're gonna get excited, Virgo. You're you're going to be like it's like a dopamine hit, like after the depression or the sinking feeling of not meeting anybody or worrying that you're getting older or feeling like you know is anybody ever faithful? You know, is this just gonna be keep meeting people who are just you know like crazy or out of their mind? And I feel like when somebody comes in or two people come in, your spirits will get lifted. But be careful. Um, that your imaginations where you meet someone and they seem like the one and then you begin to look through these rose colored glasses and then you're not able to take the time to get to know somebody because that could be very dangerous because that's how you get hurt and, and i'm not talking about like you know i i mean like don't don't let your that rose colored glasses blind you to understanding and getting to really know someone, vet someone in a way, see if this is like, if you and this person can actually have a relationship, if you're in alignment with each other, like these are things you got to find out first before your heart gets involved, right? Because listen, I said yesterday in the reading that I did that you're like, when a relationship ends, like your head will always let you know when something's not working out, but your heart is way behind your heart is like no 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 it's okay you know um because your heart is all about the feels so you know when you meet someone for the first time that your heart is still behind your head always goes first when you meet someone for the first time the chemicals the dopamine all that stuff in your head can trick your heart into thinking you're in love with someone and, and I don't mean to say that you're not in love with someone, but it's, it's the beginning stages are kind of, you know, it's like puppy love. So, you know, that's really not sustainable. You know, don't base your judgments off puppy love. Enjoy the puppy love moments. Enjoy the rose color. Enjoy the fun when you meet someone. But take your time. Your heart will let you know. Like, you'll feel it, right? You'll feel it. But let your head make the decision as far as whoever's coming in here. Just because somebody wants to commit to you doesn't mean that they're right for you. And you have to be the one to say, okay, well, you know, it's not about the end game. Okay, yeah, maybe you will want to be in a committed relationship long term with someone you love. You know, but the thing is, are you compatible? Because the chemistry could be there but the, the question is okay well we get along really great but are we compatible you know do we have the same belief systems do do we have similar backgrounds um and and if we are opposite or if we are from different parts of the world are are there things that we ha that we are in alignment with more than than we are not that we can actually make something work here right so i went on and on about that but that's what that means imagination clouds your judgment so be very careful when you this new relationship co comes upon you okay so you also have the wolf beware who you trust see i feel like spirit's talking to you okay this doesn't mean danger this just means be aware beware means be aware who you're trusting who you are letting into your inner sphere that's all just be aware it, it's not you know the wolf is um very intuitive they're very instinctual so trust your instincts trust your gut with any relationship or any person that's coming in it doesn't mean that somebody's coming in and they're dangerous i don't feel that um i don't feel like somebody's coming in to pray i just feel like you know because people can't pray you un unless you allow yourself to be prayed so you know it's all up to you just be aware of who you're letting into your life that's all this feels like mostly these messages are for you okay you have the griffin honor and good luck all right so that's a positive message so wyvern your secrets are safe and i want to get one more the black cat, black cat see you always get this and your luck will soon change okay which is good remember i think we said that your luck was going to be changing okay um all right let's get into a couple more messages here um i want to see what love messages there are for you not from any one particular person because you've got 
you've got two people who are showing up here okay one of them might be from the past and one might be new or they're both from the past um, or they're both new people coming in okay and just remember the first set of messages I gave you that could be a completely separate thing from this or they could this could just be a continuation of the love aspect of the first reading okay so just keep it in mind come back listen to it a few times all right let's see what messages of love virgo needs to hear okay intuition you already know the answer you seek okay so trust your intuition in everything denial detach with love to clearly see the truth okay and that's what i feel like don't let imagination cloud cloud your judgment um just detach a little bit with love be kind but take your time so that you are able to see clearly and because i feel like you've got some decisions you need to make here okay rejection so you're probably going to wind up rejecting somebody i don't know who it's going to be um or somebody might one of these two characters although i don't know um in what way or how one of these two characters might reject you but that's good because that'll keep you open to somebody else okay it's a weird message but you could be rejecting one of the two um, because you make a decision about one of them they've already made okay all right so someone one of these people is coming in strictly sexual very passionate and i feel like it might be the king of wands um I'm passionate but like i said not enduring so you know a very passionate fun type of relationship is probably the best it's going to get um, with somebody it could be like a summer fling for some of you um, but it's not enduring and i feel like it might be the king of wands coming in to give you that love and affection and you know all that stuff you need but non-committal okay a little bit of a i don't know i feel like a, a stalker <laughs> they get like a, a sharp mouth all right let me see you might reject that you might not want that summer fling with somebody you might reject them if they bring um sex in it way too quick um some of you some of you might accept it fully and then reject it later okay so you also have true love so you're you've got <laughs> that's why you're being asked to see this clearly because one of these two people is coming in they're both coming in looking the same passionate desire um, emotional they're both coming in looking that way but one of them is coming in strictly sexual and the other is coming in with true love okay so one of them you're going to reject which one is it going to be it really just depends where you are in your life and who these people are okay um, some of you are like i am just not i can't do a true love relationship i can't i'm not ready for that yet i may just have a summer fling and that might be all i could do right now and for others it's the opposite okay well that's interesting all right let's get a couple more messages i'm going a little bit over but you know it is what it is okay romance angels let's see what the messages are here uh, some of you might reject one person and say i'm not looking for a sexual relationship i'm looking for true love commitment partnership and for others you might say i can't do the committed thing i'm just looking for a strict you know fun buddy kind of thing and you know i know some of you are like i don't do that okay well i'm not accusing you of anything <sighs> okay somebody here probably does and to each their own right okay you've got reconciliation okay someone from your past is returning to your life and past life relationship oh my goodness so this is really like a strong message here there is definitely someone returning okay hey look it's anakin skywalker <laughs> okay there's there's definitely someone from the past coming back and i think i saw that in yesterday's reading i think did i see that or it's it shows up sometimes and if you don't want it you can reject it because like i said that card was there um 
you could reconcile with someone from your past and not want the true love connection and just strictly sexual or they could be coming in um in one of those ways so it really just depends you know i mean i don't know if you knew both of these people from your past it feels like the 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 fire sign is the one that's coming in with just the the you know the the passionate physical energy all right let me see what else okay you've got true love oh my god <laughs> it's a romance of a lifetime and you have forgiving and learning okay so for some of you whoever one of these people that is coming in i feel like it's the water sign is your true love um and even if they aren't a water sign there's water in the chart somewhere i feel like there's um forgiving and learning um this might be a past reconciliation type of thing right as you heal as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay um but yeah there's definitely a true love thing happening here and it feels like the water sign but like i said they could be anywhere in, that could be anywhere in their chart so uh virgo what are you gonna do let's get some moonology messages all right you know what i want to see what chinese sign that might be i hope you guys utilize the chinese sign calculator that i had there um i don't know if i have it underneath this video i don't remember if i put it there but i'll i'll see if i if i if it's not there then i may have forgotten to put it there but it's on yesterday's video okay you have the rat the pig the tiger the rabbit the goat the goat is twice the goat the rat is twice the dragon as per usual we have a horse and a monkey okay so i try to just pull eight all right let's see let's get some um let's get some moonology messages oh this one just flipped out here it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio wait isn't the full moon on the 16th in scorpio is it i think i can't remember so remember i was saying in the beginning of the reading releasing releasing um uh, or no i said that yesterday but also like if you were dealing with any melancholy or feeling sad or anything it's time you got to release that okay just let it go and that might just be something that you have to tell yourself every day like as a reminder pop up on your phone they like, put it in as like an alert to remind you every day okay today i'm letting this go you might have to put into practice letting it go every single day um or just to remind yourself that you know as of right now virgo saying to themselves as of right now nothing's happening so this is done as of right now could it change later absolutely but as i'm here staying present because there's an old saying if you have one foot in tomorrow and the other foot in yesterday you're pissing on today so stay present okay what's going on be mindful what's going on in your life right now release any of the negativity right now okay nothing is yet set in stone you see what i mean you only have today mutable moon okay so nothing is yet set in stone just let it go leave it be focus on the things you need to focus on because a new romantic cycle will be beginning okay we have a new moon um may 30th i don't know if it's a new moon in libra um you could have a moon in libra you could have a moon in scorpio but um remember i think i said yesterday may 30th there's a cycle a, a romantic cycle is going to be starting and happening for you guys coming up so keep your keep mindful about that all right let's get some dates and some signs okay we've got virgo you have capricorn we have leo we have taurus what's this just fell out oh we have a, a frog or a toad okay i don't know if a frog is um special to anybody here froggy frog okay let's see so what other signs do we have here for 
got one. All right, so we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Capricorn is here again, and Sagittarius just showed up. I'm probably going to get them all. Okay, Libra, Cancer, Taurus, and Gemini again. All right, so if that resonates for you, those are your people. If not, you know who your person is, or just wait and see. All right, let's get some numbers. Okay, somebody is 30. Um, hmm, somebody is born September 30th. Um, so 1972 I'm getting. I am picking up November 19th, November 8th, the 3rd. We've got May 3rd, May 2nd, the 12th. Um, so somebody's area code is 910 or zip, zip code or the numbers in a phone. 910, 2020, significant year. Okay. 310, somebody's 33. Okay, we have December 12th. We also have um, August 29th. Um, hmm. Now I'm hearing 2012. That was a significant year for someone. Um, somebody, somebody's name is Amber. And that just came to me through a 311 song. I just heard that song. Am is it called Amber? Amber is the color of your energy. Something like that. Um, okay. So also 411. Somebody is seeking information on you right now, Virgo. They're trying to get the deets on you at this time. All right. One more set of numbers, and then I'm going to look at the charms. I'm interested to know what's going on with this frog or toad. Okay. Hmm. 1974, 72, 73. Years being born, 75, uh, 79. Okay. Um, hmm. So... 35 years of age, 42. Um, we have August 23rd, 27th. We have um, 24th and the 25th. And then also September 20th, we have the 2nd, September 4th, um, September 3rd, somebody's 53 or, you know, whatever these um, ages I call out, they could be just turned or are turning or are. Okay. Um, September 12th. Um, September 13th, I'm hearing. And I'm also hearing the 18th. Okay. So if they resonate for you, that's for you. Wow, we're 13 minutes over. These are getting long. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see what your charms are here. Okay, so you've got a, sh a horseshoe, a horseshoe. Remember I said somebody's getting lucky? Your luck will soon change, absolutely. This is a, the lucky horseshoe here. Maybe you have this somewhere or someone you know puts horseshoes on horses. Maybe there's a, a, luck, a luck horseshoe charm. Okay, we also have a, a deer, a doe, a doe. A fawn, maybe somebody's name is fawn. There's a, there's a, an, like a, like a, um, somebody's very awkward, I'm hearing. That's what they're telling me. Tell them that there's a person. It's either Virgo or it's someone you're connected to. There's an energy. Someone is feels extremely awkward around you or will be, or they are. Like, they just have an awkwardness about them, okay? But they're also very wise because we have an owl. I just saw an owl clock. Somebody's got an owl clock. Um, but they're also very, very wise, okay? 
and now we have the Eiffel Tower here okay but I'm also um, I'm also picking up uh, they just told me an oil field something to do with an oil field I'm gonna just get a couple more maybe somebody has one of those um, looking at one of those toads that's in the Amazon or somebody bought a frog or decoration or something to do with a frog and Amazon that's what I'm just hearing a frog and Amazon okay the Eiffel Tower twice okay that's weird oh um, some type of amusement park or a theme park somebody's going to or maybe is there an Eiffel Tower in Vegas or something like that also there's a heart here made with love and I feel like you got this heart yesterday yeah you've got love coming definitely your heart's gonna start filling up with warm juicy blood you're gonna be very happy and it's gonna oh um, there also said keep track of your pulse get your EKGs um, see your heart doctor make sure you keep up with your heart medicine if you take that or just keep track of your pulse oh um, if you're exercising track your your fitness through your pulse <laughs> gauge let your pulse gauge your fitness I'm hearing okay yep so I'm gonna end it there that was kind of a weird different way to do a reading tonight but I hope you enjoyed that um, so if you made a comment uh, just a quick announcement if you made a comment in the community tab where i'm giving out the free reading we've hit the 19,000 subscribers at just like within 24 hours that went up very fast um if you haven't made the comment yet um go over to my community tab where it says contest follow the instructions there if you want to get a free i'm going to randomly choose someone for a free reading one hour phone call reading um so i'm going to see if i can do that tomorrow possibly i try to do it tomorrow or give give everybody some time to get in um but go over there leave a comment what you like about hov and you automatically enter to win okay all right you guys so i'm gonna leave that there i hope you enjoyed that i hope everyone had a lovely time in the chat <laughs> and i will see you guys tomorrow okay take care bye